And this is actually one of my most used stimulants because it is so convenient and easy to use. I'm hey, what's up guys, it's Josh here. I just wanna say a few words today on this area, Trebrinesis. It was kind of like one of the new stimulants on the market today. It came up several years ago. It's kind of been thrown around with DMAA and DMHA. When I was studying DMAA and DMHA, I did come across this. So I did a little bit of research. It seemed like it was going to be a lot weaker than DMAA and DMHA. So I was like, for the same price, I'll just stick with that DMHA. But since then, I have tried this maybe about 20 to 30 times. I have tried it in varying doses. And it actually has a pretty decent place in somebody's stimulant lineup if you choose to cycle your stimulants like I do. This is very similar to a combination between L-phenylalanine and DMAA. L-phenylalanine is pretty much one of the weakest stimulants or mood boosters on the market. It lasts for about 10 minutes. DMA and DMHA, they last for about 11 hours in the half-life, which pretty much means they're like the strongest stimulants available. And one of the reasons that DMA and DMHA are so strong is because they have these MOI inhibitors, which basically stop your body from getting rid of the stimulant. So you're gonna have an extremely long effect. They took L-phenylalanine and they basically put that MOI inhibitor on it that your body cannot get rid of it as fast. So it's going to last longer than 10 minutes. I did look for a half life on this one i couldn't really find too much information about it i know l phenylalanine is about 10 minutes and i've looked online somebody says they get about four hours of energy with it but yeah four hours is pretty much the max you could also probably take this a little bit later in the day than caffeine and you'd still be fine i know i do that and this is actually one of my most used stimulants because it is so convenient and easy to use it has a, an effect but it also doesn't last forever at the same time so you could take it later in the day you could take it and not really have too much negative side effects while feeling a little bit of a zip when you do take it. But initially, I thought this was essentially L-phenylalanine. L-phenylalanine lasts for about 10 minutes. I think it's actually in Diet Coke, if I'm not mistaken. It's kind of nice having L-phenylalanine, that 10 minute thing. So say you're sipping on a pre-workout and you sip on it over the course of an hour, you're slowly getting that L-phenylalanine. So it, it was always something nice to throw into a drink because every time you take a sip, you're getting that 10 minutes of boost to go along with the other stimulants. That's kind of what I thought about this when I thought it was just L-phenylalanine. And initially when I first got this, I was heavily dosing it, probably about like four or 500 milligrams, just throwing it in my water for the day. I didn't think it was really gonna do, you know, really too much or that much. And then after a little while of taking it so high a dose, I kind of was noticing that I would get a little tired afterwards. I was kind of starting to figure out this is very, very, very strong. It doesn't have a super strong backbone, because like I said, it doesn't last forever. It's not one of the strongest, but it definitely does have an effect. I usually dose it at about 100 to 200 milligrams. This tastes pretty much the same as DMAA and DMHA. There's that similar kind of taste. They all taste the same. Same with tecrine and dynamine. They taste pretty much the same. This tastes just like DMA and DMHA, although it's not nearly as strong for sure. This supplement and dynamine technically would go pretty close to each other because dynamine is basically teacrine that lasts for a lot shorter amount of time. I think it's about four hours. So you could take dynamine later in the day. So this is kind of like what that is, but this is instead of being like teacrine, this is more like DMAA, but also lighter at the same time, like DMAA light. That's kind of the best way I would describe this one. I would say this has more of a zip and more of a crash than something like Dynamine. I definitely can count on this one. So you kind of have to be a little more careful. You kind of not got to avoid that crash. The reason I don't take too much is kind of to avoid that crash. And I find pretty much all the benefits I need around 100 and maybe up to 250 milligrams. I wouldn't really go over that just because I think at that point, you're just going to be waiting for a crash and you would have already passed up the benefits if you've had it. Dynamine and Area Gerenesis actually would have been an interesting late night combo. I can picture somebody creating kind of like a nighttime pre-workout and having dynamine and area gerenesis in it. And you could kind of like market it as towards like a later in the day workout because both dynamine and area gerenesis should be out of your system a lot faster than caffeine. So if you were to put those with some pump boosters in there, I'd be very interested to see what they could do with that. You get more of a bang for your buck when you pick DMA and DMHA. I was just talking about that earlier. They're about the same price, $30 for 10 grams. This one's much, much, much weaker than DMA and DMHA. So I just wanna say, for the price, you will get more energy for your dollar with DMA and DMHA, but this is actually really, really 
really nice. It's kind of like an exotic style energy. Not many places are gonna have this. It can mix with almost anything as long as you have enough flavor in it. And it's very exotic and very unique and it's so easy to use. I find myself grabbing this probably the most out of any one because it could aid along with other stimulants or if it's later in the day and I don't wanna have any caffeine or something, I just take a little bit of this, I fill a little zip and then it's gonna go away fast. 133 servings if you go by 75 milligrams. But like I was saying, you want probably want a little bit more. So I would say this is right around 80 servings for about $30. So it still is very, very good. I think that comes out to probably like 30 or 40 cents per serving. Definitely where I would buy it and where I'd wanna test it personally, just to know, you know how it's gonna work with you and if you like it, things like that. It's kind of been my rundown of Area Gerenesis. You kind of get a feel of what I like about it. This is one of my most used stimulants for sure. And like I said, it provides you the zip but it's also so safe and not dangerous at the same time. If you have something like DMA or DMHA and you wanna high dose it in the middle of the day, you're completely wrecked. If you high dose this, you're pretty much fine because like I said, it doesn't last very long, but also provides a little bit of a zip. Let me know if you tried DMA, let me know if you tried DMHA, let me know if you tried Area Gerenesis. I'll be very interested to see down below. We're on the road, 25,000 subscribers, and I couldn't do it without any of you guys. I so hope you guys are the best. I'm having a great day out here. Hopefully you're having a great day at home. See you all in the next video. Peace.